You've invested your time, your money, and have tried everything to get your website to the top of Google, but still, nothing seems to work. To get optimum Google rankings today, you need more than just a great website, original content, and proper on-site SEO. Although on-site SEO is crucial, industry experts agree that today's top ranking factors are quality backlinks, click-through rate, and bounce rate. But to influence these traffic and engagement metrics and increase your site's rank, you need more Google keyword search visits, more total site visits, more page views, longer site visits. Introducing SE Nuke TNG, the next generation of SEO automation. Since 2008, SE Nuke has been the industry leader in automated backlink creation. Now we've created even more powerful features that automate today's top ranking factors to give you faster and easier first page Google rankings. SE Nuke TNG's unique crowd search module boosts your website search CTR through the roof and drastically reduce your site's bounce rate automatically. Simply enter your URL and the keywords you wish to rank for. SE Nuke TNG will then use its new proprietary crowd search process to query Google for your specified terms. Click on your search listings, then visit your website and even its pages. The sheer power of this feature alone provides a clear-cut advantage giving you much more ranking influence over your keywords than any other available SEO tool. Even your competition will be struggling to discover how you took over their rankings so quickly. SE Nuke TNG also introduces many new rank dominating features that save you the time and money you once wasted trying to get Google to take notice of your website. All you need to do is enter your website's URL and the keywords that you want to rank for. Then sit back and relax while SE Nuke TNG automatically creates fully optimized SEO campaigns, valuable social links, high authority web profiles, media rich content, press releases, and so much more. All professionally interlinked and pointing to your site, creating unique, strategically optimized and highly effective backlink profiles that rank your websites. And with the new loop mode feature, you now only need to set up your campaigns one time. Loop Mode will then rinse and repeat your scheduled campaign, loading in fresh, relevant content and high-profile sites without you lifting a finger for as long as you want. Endlessly creating quality backlinks on authority sites your competitors can only dream of. SE Nuke TNG is now the most complete and effective one-stop SEO software platforms available. Everything you need to take full advantage of all this amazing ranking power is included. All the email accounts you need, unlimited verified proxies, high profile site lists, quality relevant content, free advanced CAPTCHA solving, step-by-step -step expert TNG training. Even if you are totally new to SEO, TNG's newly designed Wizard and Turbo Wizard lets you create your very own professional SEO campaigns in seconds. Nothing can match the effectiveness and ease of use that SE Nuke TNG offers you, making this the most badass SE Nuke version ever to be released. So what are you waiting for? Click the download link now and start ranking your websites today. Well, here we are, the first video for SE Nuke TNG. I'm Rob, aka Podman from the SE Nuke forums. Now, I've been using SE Nuke since 2009, and what I'm going to show you today represents the biggest change to SE Nuke I've yet seen, and that is the article manager. Now, the article manager represents a shift from a single campaign basis to a multi campaign basis, and that's because, as anybody who's used SE Nuke in the past will remember, the way it worked was you made a campaign and you linked articles to that campaign and then the campaign ran and it posted your articles to various sites around the internet and then it finished and that was pretty much it you could never use those articles again now with SE Nuke TNG what we've done is we have separated the articles from the campaigns so one campaign could link into multiple different sets of articles and equally one article could be used by multiple different campaigns now this allows a few new tricks such as the loop mode and the duplicate mode which we will cover in the next few days but for today I'm just going to show you the article manager itself now you can order your articles in any way you want uh, as you can see in this example here I've set three different categories of articles uh, which represent three different niches uh, equally you can group things by website if you want 
or any way that you feel happy with. Now I've already loaded in a few articles here on dog training. You can see when I click there, we've got a uh, set of articles 550 words long on dog training and another set of articles five, 650 words long on dog training. Now each of these sets of articles is actually 15 different articles all merged together. So straight away between these two sets, we already have several hundred different articles that we could use. If we wanted to add in more articles, we simply have to select this add new content and come over to the article source. And you'll see that we have four premium sources of articles from Article Builder, The Leading Articles, Content Machine, and Article Forge, as well as the ability to type in your own articles, load articles from text files, or get free articles from eZine. In addition, whenever you've got any articles, you can also run them through the spinners. We have a built-in spinner with SNUKE that entitles you to 50 spins a day for free. But if you need more than that, we have the three industry-leading spinners, the best spinner, Spin Rewriter, and Word AI, all available. Now, as I said, I've already produced three sets of articles. I've got uh, two here in the tier two, tier one, sorry, and one here in the tier two. So let's just quickly go through how SNU will add links into these articles, and then we'll get to go through all these different settings over here on the right-hand side. So if we just click on the preview, and we have uh, the keyword that we're using for articles here, and we click Spin Preview, you'll see that instantly it has put in a contextual link for the keyword that we're looking for. And that's because SNU TNG reads through the article and it looks for your keywords actually in the text. Whenever it finds your keyword in the text, it can produce a link. Now, if we scroll through the article, you'll see there is another link here, which says letting. Now, what this is, it's linking out to an authority site. Uh, in this case, it's linking out to photos on Pixabay based on the word letting. So this is done automatically as well. If we come back to the article group settings, you'll see down here we have an option for inserting authority links. And it can insert between one and six links per article. Or you can turn it off completely if you don't want any authority links. The core advantage of adding in the authority links is it just makes your page look a bit more natural. It doesn't make it look like it's just promoting you. It makes it look like something that somebody's written to promote the niche in general. Now that's all well and good when it can find your keyword within the article, but what about when it can't find your keyword? Well, we have multiple different choices you can use then. Firstly, we have the insert random links. If we go back to the article and I just change it to something unusual, oranges, we're unlikely to have the word oranges in this article, and click spin, you'll see that what that's done is just randomly inserting the word somewhere in the article itself. Now, obviously, anybody reading it might think it's a little bit strange, but because it's inserted actually into the sentences themselves, rather than just outside of sentences, it tends to slip through moderation. As an alternative, you can use the replace random words option. If we spin this up again, you'll see that what it's done this time is instead of actually just randomly putting in your keyword, it's just picked a word out and changed that so that it becomes a link to your website. Now the advantage of that is it does result in a greater diversity of links that you get and in a lot of niches where oversaturation is a problem that's quite a useful feature. Lastly we have a insert generic sentences option. This has two different methods one using keywords and one using naked URLs. We'll test the keyword one first. If we go back to the preview article and we spin it up again you'll see that this time it hasn't put our link in but instead it's put a generic sentence at the bottom which says if you love this article on oranges and would like to read more please visit our site. Now TNG has hundreds of these uh, sentences and they're all in spin text format so it spins out into tens of thousands of different variations. And as such it's a very good way to get a contextual link in if it's not there in the article itself already. The last one there is the naked URLs. If we click on the preview and we spin it up you'll see at this time it's produced a sentence, if you love this article on oranges, there's our keyword put in, and would like to read more, please visit our site, and then it will have the naked URL of your site. Now in this example, it has to use a generic URL because we haven't set any URLs in the article manager itself. URLs are only set when you do the actual campaigns. Now some of you may already have noticed we actually have some pictures of dogs here put into the articles. These are done randomly. Each time we spin it, we get some different pictures. Now, the pictures are set down here in the insert image settings. You have a choice of inserting completely random images. If we select the completely random images and do a preview, you'll see that we could get an image on just about anything. We've got a padlock that time. Uh, spin it up again, we've got a tree. But 
TNG also has the option to scrape and use images based upon a keyword. These are the ones that I got earlier. I just scraped up some images based on dogs and those are the ones that we were using. For an actual campaign you would scrape up 50 or 60 different pictures. In this I've only scraped uh, I believe six pictures I put in. The last option down here which is inserting random uh, images based on the Flickr tag uh, that's for users of SENUKE XCR who are upgrading to TNG. All your old articles that you've used on previous campaigns will actually appear here in the article manager. There will be a special section uh, especially for them and uh, all the systems that we use back then in SENUKE XCR they will continue to work. However moving forward all your new campaigns that you do through the wizard and the turbo wizard they will be using the articles that are here in the article manager and that's what we're going to go through in the next video tomorrow. So until then keep on nuking! The wizards built into SE Nuke are one of the fastest ways that you can create a multi-tiered link building campaign. I will show you now just how fast uh, they can be. So this is the turbo wizard. Uh, all we need to do is enter in our primary keyword. We will use our dog training. Uh, our secondary keywords we can uh, generate ourselves um, by from Google. Uh, this will give the uh, words that Google most uh, links with dog training. You can of course uh, add in your own ones as well. Um, you see it does generate a nice list of secondary keywords. Uh, you can set the percentage that secondary keywords will come into play. We'll just set that to 20% uh, versus 80% for the main keyword. We then have to set the URL for our website. Uh, we'll just do www.dogtraining.com for this example. Uh, again we can set a secondary URL and a uh, percentage of links will go to the primary and the secondary. The secondary for instance will be internal pages within your site that are also about dog training. Uh, this just means that uh, not all links will be directed at your root URL or vice versa you could affect your uh, internal URL here and a secondary URL would have been the primary domain. Tags we can again automatically generate or uh, we can just use our own and campaign name is optional if you don't give it a name it will generate one for you. I'll just call this dog training. Uh, next we need some articles to uh, fill up all the different projects within this campaign. We can use the article manager that uh, we showed earlier or uh, if this is just a one-off thing we can automatically create a set of articles just for this campaign. So if we go to article builder and uh, select a category that's uh, linked to this niche, uh, dog training, set the size of the articles we're interested in, uh, let's go for 600 words, the number of articles we want each time, uh, we'll go for 10. So this will download 10 600 word articles and mix them up and it will do that for every single project within this campaign. So every uh, article directory, or social network, bookmark will have its own unique content. Then we need to select a template from the list. I will use the full Monty which is uh, it is one of the largest campaigns you can run so this will take uh, probably two to three minutes to uh, fully populate with all the uh, data and uh, articles. Number of profiles, we only need one. Uh, the number of days to run it over, we can run it over two weeks so 14 days. Number of links uh, per bookmark profile will stick with one. We'll have the project start on, uh, on the 30th and at 10, 10, 12 minutes past 7 p.m. that's fine. So all we have to do is click create campaign and then SENUKE will go off, download articles, uh, mix them all together and populate this campaign for you. As I said this is quite a large campaign so it will probably take it two or three minutes so we may have to speed through that so you don't get too bored watching this video. And that's it. Uh, we can now click OK. We could use this uh, this this again. Uh, we could set a new date and uh, create another campaign and have it download in another set of articles again, or uh, of course use our article manager. Or we could change some settings and uh, and create it again. But we're just going to close this off, and uh, you can see the campaign that has been created. And you can see how many days everything will be running for and how many different tiers there already are. So you can see in just a few seconds we have created a campaign with uh, many many tiers, thousands of pages, uh, thousands and thousands of articles all unique and different that will all be linking back to the web pages, the URLs that we put in. Crowd search. 
Crowd Search is the amazing new tool from SEO TNG, which automatically searches for your websites within Google. This increases your click-through rate and it lowers your bounce rate, which are two of the biggest ranking factors known. It's very easy to use. All you need to do is add in your keywords. Uh, we're going to stick with dog training for now. And add in your site. Uh, we're going to use Bark Busters for this example. add the site. You can see here you can set a number of searches to do a day. You can uh, change that to uh, so it's a varying each day so it's not doing the same thing every single day. If you set that to 10 to 15 then on the first day it will pick a random number between 10 and 15 and do that many searches and on the next day it will pick a, another number between those two and do that many searches. Now this is all server based. Uh, nothing's actually done on your SE Nuke so you don't have to keep SE Nuke open. Now exactly the same here you can set the amount of time that it's going to be searched for um, that you're going to spend on the site it's generally good to keep a, a reasonably long time in here with a couple of minutes as that uh, increases your time on site as well. So now we all have to do is send it up to the crowd search service. You just click save and it will be sent up. Keyword has been saved and the project is active. Now that will now be sitting in the queue. If I just wait a second. Okay, now we can see it is queued, that means it's ready to go on the server. And when it reaches the front of the queue, it will run. Now, as there aren't many people using CrowdSearch at the moment, and it's pretty much me and a few testers, it should run pretty quickly. Just give it a moment. And now it's running. So now Google is being searched for the keyword dog training and then it will go through the search engine results and try and find our site. Okay, now while uh, our crowd search is doing its thing, I will show you what it is actually doing because you can't see it because it's all on the server. What it does is it loads up Google and it loads up Google in various different browsers, uh, like mobile browsers, desktop browsers, IE, Chrome, Safari, I think we even got Blackberry in there. So it loads up various different browsers and opens Google and then it types in your keyword. Dog training in this case. And it types it in at a specifically variable speed and then it presses enter. And then it looks through the results and it doesn't look through too quickly. It looks through it at a random time, just like a real person would. It searches down through the results and if it doesn't find your web page on the first page, it clicks through to the next page and then it searches down through your page again and it finds BarkBusters.com so it clicks on BarkBusters and opens up your site and it moves through your site you'll spend a certain amount of time it's a random amount of time on the first page and then it will pick another page randomly from all the ones on here and go through to that let's pick one out puppy training so we picked out puppy training and it will go through the puppy training and it will sit on this page for a while and then eventually it will close out just like a real search would what it will then do is wait a certain amount of time the project will go back into the queue and then it will run again and it will do that for in this case it will do it 13 times in one day so you'll get 13 clicks in one day now each click comes from a different proxy and these are very special proxies they're not the uh, standard proxies that we would normally use for SNUke these are home proxies they go the, the search itself goes out through uh, home internet accounts around the world most of them are in America and Europe there are a few which are not but certainly 95 percent of all these searches are uh, from American that includes Canada and uh, European IPs Okay, that's been uh, that's been over two minutes. Let's just see if it has completed. We'll just update it, and yep, we can see that the status is completed. So it has done that search now, and uh, it still has 12 left to do for the rest of the day. Now, in the final version, you don't actually need to uh, do this uh, update. It will update itself every few minutes. Uh, this is only in the, the the version that I'm using at the moment. We still have this update button. So as far as you're concerned, it's a set and forget thing. You just put the keywords in, and uh, then you can close it off and walk away and let our servers do the work for you. Indexing There is a common myth 
in SEO that a link which has not been indexed, that is a link which doesn't appear in the actual search results of Google, has no value. That is not correct. The correct assumption is that a link which has not been spidered by Google has no value because if it has not been spidered it has not been seen. Spidering being the term used for when Google searches through your sites and links. So there are basically several different stages. First you have a link which is just exists and nobody has seen it and then you have a link which has been spidered that means that Google knows it's there and knows where it points and then you have a link which is indexed but it's quite legitimate for Google not to index all links for instance why should they be indexing all forum profiles there's no real content there and it's not something that any person that actually went to Google and did a search would actually really want to see so that's why they often are not indexed but they are spidered and therefore they do count thankfully SENUC TNG has two different modules in it, one of which will help you with indexing and the other one will guarantee you get spidered. You can see them on this diagram here. First we have the index module which is linked into a premium social network here and here we have the spider slash pinger tool which is linked into a standard social network. There's no specific reason why I've linked the spider one to the social and the indexer to the premium. You could switch those around or link anything to anything. But there is a small distinct difference between the two different projects. Now firstly, the index project comes with 100 free URLs a day. That is that every subscription to SE Nuke includes the ability to send 100 URLs to Backlinks Indexer every single day. That's over 3,000 a month on average. Backlinks Indexer is known as the industry standard. They have the highest results and the highest level of success of any of the indexing services. But what happens if you need to send more than 100 a day? Well, each of these different services has the option to buy a subscription and you can send more links to them. So the first 100 every single day will automatically be sent to the free service and after that SENUC will send your links to the different services depending upon which ones you select. But here's where things get really interesting and a huge improvement over previous versions of SENUC. You see these indexing services tend to be quite expensive and when you're generating thousands and thousands of links it's hard to be able to send them all to the best services. So what we recommend is to send only the best links, such as the premium social network links, into the indexing services, and then the lower quality links, uh, in particular forum profiles, uh, web profiles, send those into the Spider Pinger tool. There are two services which work with the Spider Pinger tool. We have Linklicious here and Indexification here. They're both around $20 a month, and they will both cope with thousands of links a day without any problem. To use them, you just need to put in your API key and tick the use with ping project and this basically replaces the pinger element of the ping project with this service instead. So the beauty of this is that we can now create templates that send your links to two different indexing services. The higher quality stuff going off to the main indexer and the bulk of the links where you have thousands of different links going off to the spider service. Now of course don't worry if you don't understand any of that the templates are already designed to do this for you. All you need to do is put in your details in the SENUC options. Now, if you don't want to sign up to two services, don't worry, there is another little trick you can do with SENUC TNG, and that is to use indexification or linklicious here as the indexing service as well. So what would happen now is the first hundred links will be sent through premium social network to the indexer, which would be backlink indexer for those first 100 links and then once the first 100 are through every other link would be sent through to indexification. So effectively then the indexer tool is working as the indexer tool for the first 100 links but after that it's effectively working as the spider tool. Now this is still extremely effective because of the high quality nature of these premium social networks they tend to index with simple spidering and they don't necessarily need the full services of the more expensive indexing systems. However, the absolute optimal setting is definitely to use one of the spider services on its own, only through the spider and pinger tool, and to use a premium backlink indexing service such as Backlinks Indexer in the indexer tool itself. Either way, the templates will sort all this out for you automatically. You don't have to do anything other than sit back and watch all of the links you get created in SENUC get spidered, guaranteed. Capture solving.
CAPTCHA stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. It's basically a way that a website can check to see if you're a person or a bot. Uh, SE Nuke is classed as a bot because it automates putting in articles and links onto websites, a bot being not a real person. The most common form of CAPTCHA that you'll see is an image capture. There's several of these on the screen here. Uh, basically they show you an image of a word or phrase or some numbers that's uh, a bit jumbled up and hard to read and they ask you to type in what you see. Now some of these are incredibly hard to do even if you're a real person and see this one here uh, I, I can't even do that right now and again down here is a complicated one there and some of them are very easy for instance these ones and some simple numbers here. So as you can understand it's very hard for a computer to see these and understand what they are and if you don't pass the test that proves that you're a human by solving these correctly, then you can't post any links on that website. Now thankfully, SENUKE TNG has several ways that it can solve these tests, and it does it much cheaper, quicker and easier than any version before it. In fact, some of these it can solve absolutely free. If you look inside the SENUKE options, you'll find a number of different services that you can choose from that will all solve these different types of capture. Now the very first one is brand new to TNG and that's the OCR. OCR is Optical Character Recognition and this is a system which tries to solve the captures automatically. Now if you remember I showed you this screen a few minutes ago and mentioned that some of these are quite easy. For instance this one BF7WV3. That can be OCR'd quite simply as can this and this and this. So a lot of these captures can run through an automatic system which will decode what the picture is showing and answer the question, answer the challenge itself. Now that will actually cover about 50 to 60 percent of all the sites in SE Nuke, so all those can be done completely free using the new OCR service. Now it's true, the better the site, the better the security. So the more high quality sites generally tend to use harder captures, and those generally cannot be solved through any form of OCR, not just the SE Nuke OCR. And for these you need to use a third party capture service. And you'll find a number of these available in SE Nuke. But the top two here, Death by Capture and Two Capture, are definitely the best. In particular, these two are the only two in the list that can actually solve the new Google No Capture. Now, if you see No Capture, it's the I am not a robot type capture. It says Recapture here, but we actually call this No Capture. Because most of the time when you click I am not a robot, that's it. That's all it requires. But if Google decides that you are a bot, it will send you this simple thing. This one says select all the images below that match this one. And they've given you a picture of a turkey, and you've got to select the pictures of turkey, which would be that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one there. Now obviously this is impossible for OCR to use. There is no automated system at the moment that can solve this type of capture. So if you want to get sites which use that type of capture, which is generally the best ones, particularly the premium social networks, you need to add in either Death by Capture or a Two Capture account. Now the costs here are not huge. Uh, with Two Capture, you're talking a, a thousand souls for a couple of dollars, and it's slightly more with Death by Capture. But remember, if you're using the SEU OCR service as your primary service, it will first try and solve all the easy ones automatically through our free service, and then only the few that it can't do will get sent through to your Death by Capture or to capture or any of the others that you select here. As such, the cost of running SE Nuke TNG is about two to four times less than running SE Nuke XCR, simply because of this reduced capture cost. Proxies. Another massive improvement in SE Nuke TNG is how it uses proxies. Now, proxies are used to hide your computer on the internet. Every device on the internet has basically an IP address and this identifies that one computer amongst all the others around the world. When search engines and websites see multiple requests of similar nature all coming from one IP address, well it starts to look a bit odd because that's the action of a bot doing the same thing over and over again. So what we do is we run these requests through multiple different IPs and that makes it look like we are many different people rather than just one. Thus helping to hide the fact that we are a bot and making this look real. Now in previous versions of SE Nuke, it was one campaign, one IP. However, that rule has been thrown completely out of the window with SE Nuke TNG, and you can now have as many IPs in here as you want. If you want to put in hundreds of proxies, you can put in hundreds of proxies, and every thread will use a different IP, and those IPs will rotate through all of your proxies one by one. So if you have a hundred proxies and there's a thousand sites, each one's only going to get used ten times throughout the entire process of SE Nuke. Whereas before, 
it would get used a thousand times. So to add your own proxies into SCNuke, all you need to do is go into the Options menu, go to the Proxies tab and click Add Proxy List. You can use any type of proxy, either IP authenticated, in which case you just copy in the proxy list here in the format of proxy and port, or if they're password authenticated, put the proxies in here and enter the username and password for the proxies over here, and then just add them into the list and they will magically appear. Now we can also test the proxies in SNUke. I'll just test all my proxies here. This does a couple of different tests. Firstly, it tests whether the proxy is good or bad and that it, can it actually reach any destinations. And it also checks to see if this proxy is working on Google or not. Now, in most cases, it isn't actually that important that the proxy works on Google in SENUKE because we don't actually do very much interaction with the Google website itself. But it's always nice to know that your proxies are super clean and super good. And now you can see here my 50 proxies that I'm using in this example. They're all clean and they all work with Google. Now, you can automate that testing so it tests every hour just to make sure that your proxies are good. I don't usually bother doing that because I know these proxies are very high quality, they come from a very good source and they worked for years without any problems. But if you're a little bit suspicious about the, where your proxies came from or they're not the highest quality, you can run an auto test every single hour and any that stop working it will automatically disable. You can also set it to re-enable them after a while just in case they come back on. It will basically check them and then turn them back on if they're working. If you've got no proxies in here because every single one of your proxies has failed, SNUke will actually stop and alert you to this fact. Now there's a couple of examples down here of places where you can get proxies, including some special offers. But if you don't want to buy any proxies, we now have thousands of proxies built into SENUKE. All you need to do is select the SENUKE proxies and it will use our own list of proxies. Now there is no limit to this list. You can use them as much as you want. You can send Nuke all day long if you want, 24 seven using our proxies. Now one other major improvement in SENUKE TNG with regards to proxies is that these proxies now only apply to SENUKE. With previous versions of SENUKE, if you used a proxy, it actually applied to the entire of your Windows installation. So even your Internet Explorer ended up using that proxy. That has now been removed. The proxies you put in here will not interfere with anything else that is happening on your computer. For most users, the built-in SNU proxies is all you will need. You're only going to need the custom proxies if you're a very heavy hitter or you want to do some specific things, in particular with custom site creations. But most people, these built-in ones, that's it, you're done.